good luck charm. Fans, may I have your attention, please? You're about to witness the most exciting and possible stunt maneuver ever performed in history! Bucky, yay! You're the bear! All right! Way up there in the air, it's Bucky Bear! Wait to him, kids! Wow, that was so neat! Bucky, you're awesome! Sure, that was great. If you were trying to be boring, let me have a turn. Please, you could never beat my most exciting and possible stunt maneuver. Goodness, Bucky, does Bjorn really know what he's getting into? He's fine, but if something does happen, he'll probably land in that pile of leaves. Ah! Way up in the air? No, ah! look down there. Ah! Bjorn, hey, are you all right? I warned you, didn't I? A stunt like that takes dozens of hours of practice. You can't ah! expect to pull it off just mm. winging it. The most exciting, impossible stunt maneuver. All right, I'm as good as Bucky. I can do this. I can't do this at all! Hmm, well, did I do it? Whoa, is this some kind of lucky clover? It brought me good luck. This must be how I was able to pull off the stunt. Oh, Bucky, just look at my super amazing maneuver. With the help of my lucky charm, there's nothing I can't do. Woohoo! <laughs> Bjorn, hey there! I've been working on a brand new Amazing Impossible Super Stunt, dude! Is it as boring as the other one was? Watch my super duper mega uber big fat stunter room! Should I pile up some leaves first in case this stunt goes down like the last one did? Hey, Bjorn! Just walk away before you hurt yourself. Now is the time. Ready, Charm? <laughs> that was the bomb! Bjorn, yay! I thought no one could top Bucky's fancy maneuver. Well, I have a brand new amazing or better or super or stunt maneuver. Hundreds of times trickier than your stunt. Well, my super mega turbo ultra big new trick is a million times harder than yours is. Yeah? And we're gonna settle this once and for all. 10 o'clock tomorrow here, the coolest trick wins. Good luck, you're gonna need it. To race the race, you gotta pump the pump to get your bike in shape to do the coolest jump. Can my lucky charm get me over the hump or will the whole thing end with me on my rump? I'm training hard for the crazy ride. Will I bruise my bottom or bruise my pride? Hey, I think I better find a safe place to hide. My lucky secret weapon, keep it safe inside. Bouncing and bouncing, I'm testing my shots. Oh. <laughs> worrying and worrying, I think I need some bigger locks. Round and round and round again. I'm nervous as I've ever been. Protect my lucky charm and then I'll be gloriously victorious when it's 10. <laughs> Are you serious, Bjorn? You're trying tightrope riding? Uh-huh. With some wheelies, too. All going backwards. And did I mention I'll be blindfolded? Bjorn, buddy, have you completely lost your marbles? You are guaranteed to fall! Thanks to this, I'm not afraid of anything anymore. What is that? A piece of clover? What it is, is my lucky charm. I suggest you prepare yourself to get very beaten. Listen, Franny, we have to come up with a way to rescue Bjorn, otherwise he'll fall. The big dummy? I know. What can we do? I have an idea. Run and get the badminton net as fast as you can. Here comes my super duper glorious uber blow your mind bicycle stunt. Don't let me down, Lucky Charm! Charm! I understand now. It was all nonsense. It doesn't work. You just need to take the time to practice. You know what? We could even practice together. With you? Seriously? I'd love that, dude! Straight down, turn right, turn right, then up and over, and that's it! All right, I think I've got it now. Turn right, turn right. Looking uh, good. I kind of wish I hadn't eaten all those waffles. Oh, yeah, me too.
Ghost stories. In a dark, deep, deep, dark forest lived a, a zombie vampire werewolf bear. And he gobbled everybody up with his awful werewolf teeth. Uh, yeah. And they've not been heard from since. Who now? The vampire or the zombie or the mummy or the bear? Huh? What? No! Those are all just parts of the one bear. Come on! Ah, oh, forget it. It's Franny's turn next. Listen up. While I tell the tale of Gigante Gruntus. Gigante Gruntus is a monster that lives deep in the woods. It comes out at night to hunt. <gasps> it has three horns, four massively clawed paws, two slimy tails, 13 stomachs, and a long boogery trunk. It eats one thing only. All it eats is bears! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Giggity Gruntus! I'm not even that scared. Uh, gosh, Franny, you're really good at telling ghost stories. <laughs> Gigantic Gruntus. Whoever said it was just a story? It's a million percent real. Yeah, right. I believe that, and I'm super scared. <laughs> Aren't you scared, Bjorn? Yeah. <laughs> I'm terrified of a silly kid's story. Fine. Then I'll just be heading home, and I'm taking my flashlight, too. Franny, hey! I hope you don't get eaten by lame Gruntus. <laughs> I called him lame Gruntus, dude. <laughs> Guess it's time we went home. Let's take the tent down and deal with the fire. Boy, uh, it's a little dark. Yeah. Bucky? Bucky, are you really sure Gigantic Gruntus is only a silly kid story? Bjorn, I'm as sure as can be. Franny completely made him up. Well, here's where you go right and I go left. <laughs> Bucky, listen. Don't you think it's boring just walking by yourself? Would you walk with me until I'm home safe? Huh? So, I guess I'm not in a big hurry. Walking down the perfectly safe path in the perfectly safe woods. Bucky, what if this gigantic Gruntus is real, just like Franny told us? Bjorn, enough! You've got to stop with the big, scary Gruntus and hurry up! Well, Bjorn, we made it. There's your house. Uh, well, good night then. Hope you get home safe. <sighs> Bjorn, wait up! It's just that, uh, I walked you here. It's only fair you walk with me. Uh, plus it's no fun walking just by yourself. Bucky, after I walk you home, you aren't going to walk me back to my place again, right? It'd just be so boring walking home by myself. You don't need to worry about that. We'll come up with a schedule, all right? Walking down the perfectly safe path and the perfectly... What the... Gigandy Gruntus, but I just made that up, you silly boys. But we saw him. He was really there. There were three horns and really sharp claws, just the way you described him. Fine, then. Just come show me. We'll take you to him, but first I'll invent a Giggity Gruntus Whomping Club. Bucky, how can we be sure your gigantic Gruntus Womper will work right? Of course it'll work. I built it, didn't I? You hear that, Wompy? Don't let me down. Gigantic Gruntus! Ah! Please don't eat me! Help! I taste terrible! I'm too furry to die! Ow! Get off! Sorry. Let's take a look at your gigantic Gruntus. <laughs> An owl in a tree? You're the biggest scaredy bears ever! Scared? I never actually said I was scared. Pretending. Uh, so you would be scared. Uh-huh. Oh, gigantic Gruntus! He's Bucky! He's Yogi! I heard that! No, help! It's Gigantic Chickas! <laughs> <laughs> no more scary stories for you boys. Just stories about bunnies and cupcakes and naps. The fairest of them all! Yes! Hey! Bleh. My 
these stupid big ears are ridiculous. And don't get me started on my tail. Oh, I might as well give up. I'm not pretty. Not like these flowers are. They're just simply beautiful. And I'm just simply not. Wouldn't it be just wonderful to be a flower? What do you think? Good, but there's something missing. Yeah, it needs something beautiful. That's it. Every first-class fountain needs to have a lovely statue in it. Bucky, Bjorn, hi there. You notice anything? Jeez Louise, <laughs> Brammy. What's that thing on your head? Did you chug flower juice or something? Hey, come on. Why are you laughing? Doesn't everyone think flowers are beautiful? Yes, flowers are very beautiful, but... A fox in a weird flower headdress thing? Not so much. <laughs> it's not like you guys are beauty experts or anything. Forget you guys. Whoa! I know just what our fountain needs. Just right. Isn't it? I'm not really sure it is. Yeah, you're right, and I agree. <sighs> Chug flower juice. Bah. They don't know what's pretty. Ah, fishy! It's so... Pretty! Wouldn't it be wonderful to be a fish? Cool, right? Seriously? You want to put a recliner in the middle of a fountain? Well, yeah. It looks nice. And you can climb up and sit on it. <laughs> I see. Just be sure to remember your umbrella. Hey, guys. Notice anything? <sighs> I'm really, really pretty like this, right? <sighs> oh! Franny's been eating too much sushi. Look, even a fish knows a chair shouldn't be in a fountain. Franny, are you all right? Why are you a fish? Because fish are beautiful. You don't get it. I've got it, Bjorn. I know just what we need. Right? of Goofy. Hey, this is not Goofy. Chicky rocks. Hey, where do you think you're going? Get back here. Stop. Disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> A peacock's tail? Check it out. Well, peacocks happen to be the prettiest birds on the entire planet. Yeah, but a peacock <laughs> is a peacock, see? And <laughs> you can't be one because you're a fox. This is just too much. Franny the peacock, perfect. Too much. It's just so great. This <laughs> doesn't make me beautiful either. Stop laughing. <laughs> Franny, hey. Franny, wait, don't go. You hurt her feelings. Ugh. Guess we both hurt our feelings. Hey, dude, listen! I've got the answer to our fountain problem! Ugh. Come with me, because I've had a thought that could unify the whole darn plot. Uh, we'll put the perfect uh, thing in the perfect spot! One, two, three! <laughs> We've kind of both been lousy friends, so we'll make the thing that makes offense. Uh -huh. Sweet Franny's happiness depends on you and me! Yes, sirree! Welcome to the grand opening of our brand new magnificent fountain! It's been a long, strange road, but at long last, it's completely done! Come on, enough talk! Ready, set, fly! What the huh? Is that me? You guys put me in the middle of your pretty fountain? But. Wouldn't it be better to pick something beautiful? Franny, what could possibly be more beautiful than you? We think you're the most beautiful fox in the history of the entire planet. <laughs> hmm. Turn it on, Bjorny. You're right. I don't look half bad up there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really thirsty all of a sudden. Franny's birthday! Get ready to feel the sting of defeat, because here comes a world-class goal. Yeah, bring it on, Big Bear. 
A beautiful kick! It's going! Gone! Goner! Oh, man! Um, Chicky, hey! What do you have? This is to all my friends. Today is my birthday. Everybody's invited to my house for yummy cake and punch from your friend, Franny. What? I didn't realize it was Franny's birthday. It's so great. All the cake I can eat. Dude, I'm going to go and get Franny the best birthday present ever. Yeah, right. Huh? Don't even bother, my friend. I'm going to give Franny the coolest present. Oh, yeah? All right, then. We'll just see about that. The greatest present ever. Come on, Bjorn, use your brain. A chicken popsicle. No, wait, ugh. Oh, I just had a Bucky-esque genius idea. Table, ice, talent, nice. If I chisel from the heart, it'll set my gift apart. Then it won't be just a present, it'll be a work of art. Awesome, right? That's a darn cool present. And not just because it's made of ice. Do you think she'll like it? Ha! That's the best you could do? A weird frozen Franny Francicle? You don't have a chance, Bjorn. I'm going to show you just how awesome a present can be. A cool idea? No, actually, it's hot. I know that Franny will like it quite a lot and say that it's the greatest gift she's ever got. The Franny Bar! Yeah! <laughs> oh, no one's ever seen a present like this. This will be Bjorn's frozen box easy. Hey, Chicky, do you love my present? The greatest present ever, right? Unlike Bjorn's gift. Hmm. Hmm. You've done well telling me about this. I'm going to have to take my ice box to the next level. Hmm. Table, ice, twice as nice. Ah, look at that. It's the best present ever. So that's how it's gonna be, is it? You just wait until I'm done with Franny Botzilla! Taking walks in a playing game. A bit to the left, uh, when there's sunny weather. Now to the right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Sheesh, put your beak into it. We're almost there now. Why is ice this heavy? If there's rain, they'll like sing some songs. Stop, just stop. Stop, please. Your maker says stop. Don't turn left, you'll uh, fall down the hill. You big brainless walking junk pile. Every day just has a way of stinking. It looks like somebody will be showing up giftless. What a shame. That's right, but I don't think I'm alone in that. What are you talking about? Maybe you should turn around. Huh? Bummer. Happy birthday, you know who. In the sunny weather. Party guests, oh, where are you? Wish we were together. Well, this stinks. You work hard on a great present and the dumb thing falls apart, leaving you with nothing to give. Franny's probably just sitting there alone and sad. So what's the plan? Oh, hey, Bjorn, would flowers make a nice present? Yeah, Franny really likes plants and stuff. I know where I can pick some flowers that Franny will love. Bucky, where did you get those flowers? Never mind, just ring the bell. Hello there, Franny. Happy birthday. We're sorry, but we didn't bring you any presents. Hey, you guys are the only present I need. That's nice. Oh, yeah, we did manage to bring you these. Wowee. Gosh, these flowers are really pretty. Just like the ones I have in my flower bed. Oh. Bucky, tell me you didn't pick those flowers from Franny's own garden. Yes, I did. How else could I be sure she'd love them? <laughs> 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 the never-ending day. Look, Franny, it's the turtle right above us. It's where? 
Wait, I see it! Wow! And there's the whale! Oh yeah, the whale! That is not a whale! It's a bunch of white dots in the dumb dark sky! Nighttime! Why do we even need nighttime? Well, we just do. For reasons and stuff. <laughs> we don't need it at all! You've just never thought about living without it! Think what you could do if you didn't have to sleep all night! We'd never have to stop playing! Wouldn't it be cool? I just need to invent a sunshine o -matic Twininator! Sure, the sun is fine, but there are times it doesn't shine! And we can fix that with a super smart, incredible design! All it takes is lots of work and brilliant thoughts! Plus a giant light bulb pumping like a zillion watts! <laughs> and when the work's all done, we'll have a year-round substitute sun! That's it, mammals! The sunshine o -matic Troninator! The largest ever light bulb in the world with a Googleplex Watts! And four ultra-high-powered rotors to keep the beautiful machine airborne! Awesome, right? Uh... We'll never need the sun again! Genius time! That's right, big fella! Fly! Fly! Let's see... Uh... Oh, yeah! Got it! The dawn of a new day! Good morning! Uh, awesome! <laughs> exactly like the sun! It's nighttime, but it's daylight. It's night day or day night! Hey, Bjorn, do you feel like playing a little ball? That sounds awesome. Just let me brush my teeth. How come? You already brushed them. I mean, you haven't been to bed since then, right? Hmm, that's right. I haven't slept yet. Just another plus of never having nighttime. Come on, let's ha. find Franny. Good, Good afternoon, Franny. Well, hello there, Bjorn and Bucky. Look at this amazing scarf I knitted last night. I mean, night day. No, day night. Another reason? Living without night's just great. Franny, hey, make with the pies. And yummy honey, and jam, and cookies. Oh, yeah, and candy, too. Bucky, that's not a very healthy breakfast. But is it really breakfast? Breakfast is in the morning, right? When you get up. And we haven't just woken up, right? Every meal is lunch from now on. I love the never-ending day. Way up high in the sky. There's a shining light that lets us kiss. Oh, boring sleep goodbye. Real, real fun in the big, big sun. Oh, we'll play, 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 and we'll run, run, run. We'll play everything twice before we're done. And the best part is we've just begun! <laughs> Isn't this no night thing just great? Who would have thought it was possible to fit all this into just one day? Tell me about it. I feel dumb forever sleeping in the first place. Hey there, guys. What's up? Having all the fun. You better believe it. It's just the greatest, right? Hey, Rose. Longest day ever. Wait, I mean best. Guys, you're not tired or anything, right? No way! But, Franny, are you? I might be a little sort of tired. Honestly, I might pass out right here right now. I think I know what the problem is. We have to set the sunshine omatic troninator so it shines brighter. Then we'll have pep coming out of our ears. All right, that's just fine. A bit further. Uh, More up here. Uh, What's the word? Oh, yeah. Higher. <laughs> I think the sun might be broken. Fix later. Snooze first. Yeah, sleep is pretty awesome, you know. I was thinking maybe you shouldn't bother fixing it. Franny, that sounds like an absolutely brilliant idea. Bjorn, question. Which constellation is that? The Sleepy Crab. And that one there? Napping Weasel. Maybe this nighttime thing isn't such a bad idea after all. Oh, I know that constellation. It's the snoring warthog, right? And there's the yawning walrus. As easy as pie. Mmm, so yummers. Wow, Franny. <laughs> Your pies are insane. 
make the best pies on earth. Thank you. Ah, it took me a whole week to perfect this new special top secret pie. <gasps> it took you a week to come up with a recipe for pie? That's nuts. It's not like cooking's hard to do. If it's so easy, why don't you try it's it? It's the easiest pie. <laughs> and I'd like to see you try to be an inventor. Make something really simple, like a bike. Uh, sure, I could do that. All right, then, put her there. Bjorn's our witness. The Bacon Mick Challenge is on. What is pie? Pie is something you make in an oven. But what if you could just put the ingredients in the top of the oven and the rest was automatic? There is no such oven. Oh, that's great. I get to invent one. Weld and solder and screw and drill. Inventing stuff is such a thrill. With a mountain of brains and an ocean of skill, I'll make an auto pioneating ovenizer, I will. Right, where do I begin? Ooh, first I'll pick the color. Uh, pink, duh. My bike will be pink. Ooh, with purple polka dots and yellow handlebars. I'm really good at this. And I think the wheels should match the handlebars. That is a beautiful design. I'll make the seat white like a big fluffy cloud. And the chain will have all the colors of the rainbow in it. It's just gorgeous. I'm a super genius. Let's see. Now, what do we put in it? Hmm. I'm a little fuzzy on the formula, but I think a cherry pie needs cherries. What a breakthrough. Your genius is mind-blowing. Next, you can solve the ancient mystery. What is in an apple pie? Be quiet, please. I'm cooking. Pie, genius time. What else yummy do I need to add? Honey, perfect. <laughs> Gotta have chocolate. Sweet. I think it's time to tackle the crust. The crust has got eggs in it, right? Um, bingo! These snake eggs should be fine. After all, eggs are eggs. I think crusts also have flour. Like, a lot, yeah. You have to have a ton of flour. Probably. Looks like that's all. Soon high. Great. Where could I find bicycle parts? First, I'll need the pink frame. Pink, pink, of course, raspberries and cream. And for the purple polka dots, blueberries will work fine. Oh, that's shaping up very nicely. <laughs> and this will be a perfect yellow handlebar. And for yellow wheels, I can just cut some lovely pineapple rings. Oh, and chocolate icing for the tires. And I'll make the white seat out of coconut. Now the rainbow chain, candy worms! Now to put the pieces together! Uh... Hmm... Your judge has arrived! Let's see what you came up with! Your big mouth started this, so you go first! I give you the pioneering ovenizer! And genius fairy pie! <gasps> You're the first bear to enjoy it. Well, the crust seems a bit tough. Tough crust? Uh, I've got just the thing. Huh? I'll be right back. And I'm back. And it's pie time. Huh? Your pie is served. I'm sorry, but that isn't going into my mouth. Because I like having teeth. Well, Franny? It's your turn. Let's see the bike you invented. Uh, isn't this the most beautiful bicycle you've ever seen? Speechless, huh? I understand. Try it out, Bjorn. Ugh, for real? Ugh, ugh. Doesn't it move? Well, no, but it's beautiful and sweet. I say that we've got ourselves a tie. All right, then. Shake paws, you guys. You know, I think that making pies just isn't my thing. And I'm not much of an inventor, as it happens. Oh, Franny, would you like my super pie ovenizer? <laughs> All right. I'll make a brand new pie for you. With raspberries and banana and pineapple and candy worms and coconut and chocolate icing called Bicycle Pie. The Perfect Friends. <laughs> Morning, Bucky. <laughs> you want to pick berries with me? <laughs> Franny! Forget that. Come and check out this awesome thing I made. Huh? Look! 
It can read the star's thoughts. Just take a listen. Huh? Hmm. I don't hear anything at all. It's just a little random noise. Noise? Those are star's thoughts. Fine. Go on, pick your berries. Later! I'm going fishing. Want to come along? It'll be fun. How could I be interested in fishing when I'm listening to the thoughts of the stars? You want to hear them? No. No. I'm not really hearing any thoughts. Just some noise. Kind of like you hear in a seashell. Well, you're not exactly an expert, Yorn. Just go and catch your fish. Okie dokie, Bucky. I'll be at the river, dude. Try not to die of boredom. Oh! Go away, Chicky. It's not a good time. <sighs> Why don't any of my friends understand me? I wish I could find a world where my friends would completely get me. Big genius idea! The thingy goes in the other thingy, right by the other thingy. Good! All finished. Now to give it a try. Yank the lever. I'm so clever. Walk through the portal to wherever. Science stuff! Um, okay. What happened? It didn't work at all. Hi, Bucky. Huh? I made some upgrades to your boring machine. Do you want to come see it? Really? What upgrade? Who said you could do that? Okay, I understand. Seems you, quote, upgraded it by adding that flower. Well, partly. I added that to Hickey as well. It's pretty cool. It reads the star's mood and turns the mood into music. Actually, the dancing flower is just there for funsies. Did you just say music from star moods? That's right. I'm also planning to do the reverse as well, so the flower's thoughts will make the stars dance. Um, cool. Want to help with the calculations? Uh, yeah, sure, all right. Surprise, surprise, shock of shocks. Who knew Franny was a genius fox? Just a bit more left. Now we just have to find the way to transform thoughts into something musical. Uh, Franny, hey, do you feel hungry at all? Are any of your raspberry pies left over from yesterday? What are you talking about? I have never cooked in my whole life. Here, just choke down some vitamins. They're bitter as the dickens, but they're great for your brain. Now, we also have to calculate making it work in reverse. Franny, I'm just gonna go, uh, you know, get a little fresh air, which is good for your brain, too. You just keep mapping and stuff. Now, if the coefficient of the variable... Yo, Bjorn, hi there. New fishing rod? Let's try it out. Fishing? Aren't you cute? It's not a fishing rod, dude. It's my super transmutator. Super trans... what? With this invention, I can change into any shape I choose. Say, for example, awesome time! My best friend, Bucky. Uh, Bjorn? I'm a little bit creeped out by that. Can you please stop being me? No problem. Bjorn, yeah, that's pretty cool and all, but you still have a regular fishing rod, right? Why would I have that? Fishing's trivial next to my scientific pursuits. Oh, Chicky, you wanna play? Come on, then. All right, Chicky Bird, run and get the pine cone. Bucky, what are you doing? Sorry for that, Professor Flyenstein. May I give you a demonstration of my new transmutator? I made the modifications you suggested and reversed the polarity of the frigid. The gain was amazing. Too weird. I take it back. This is anti-awesome. Pull the lever and close that door forever. Bucky? Franny? Bjorn? Dr. Flyenstein? Dr. Wettenstein? Bucky, all of us were thinking about it. So we'd all like to learn some science stuff that has to do with your inventions. So you can find us more interesting to talk with and stuff. Don't be silly. I like you guys the way you are. You don't need to learn science. Let's go and pick berries for a pie. Then we'll all go fishing. That's easy. The solution to the problem is friendship. The Tooth Fairy. Slumber party jump fest. Franny, thanks. This has been a super awesome slumber party. Come on. Is that all? I 
want to play some more. It's time for us to brush our teeth and go to bed. It's late. Brush our teeth? Count me out. Brushing's lame. Seriously? You mean you never brush your teeth? Of course not. What a waste of time. Besides, I already brushed my teeth earlier this year. Well, that explains his breath. Oh, always brushing your teeth. How very pointless. What the, huh? Toothpaste beard, huh? Nice. And which one of you jokers pulled this little prank? Empty beds? Aha! Follow the bloppy little clues? Straight to the guilty parties. Ha! Gotcha! Whoa! This is a really weird bathroom! Oh. Wow! Now this is cool! What is this place? This is the kingdom of Toothopolis! Oh! That means you would be... I'm the Tooth Fairy. And this is my intern. Come on, Bucky. Let me give you a tour of Toothopolis. <laughs> Toothopolis is the second most popular body part-centric theme park of all time, with such attractions as the Molar Coaster, the Toothy Spin, and the Fluoride Glide. And that's Emperor Bright Tooth. You should probably say hello. Hi there, Emperor. My name's Bucky. Hmm. And so now that we're all friends and stuff, is it fine if I ride some rides? Absolutely, Bucky. Have an excellent time. <laughs> a carnival booth called Shoot the Tooth. Up, 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 and a toothbrush cup. An awesome loopy trip in a toothpaste rocket ship. <gasps> I never knew toothy stuff could be this much fun. <gasps> Whoa! What is that? Huh? Um, there's a huge monster over there! That's Placulork, our amusement park's mortal foe! He wants to destroy all this! He's a real pain in the gums! Hey there, Placulork! Just back off! I'd call the police about now! We don't have a police force. Uh, the people of Toothopolis are absolutely defenseless. Oh, then I suppose you're out of luck. Um, can you tell me where the exit to my world is? But, Bucky, please! You can't abandon us now! You're our only hope of beating Placulorg! That hideous monster fears only one thing in the world. Toothpaste, my boy. <gasps> Go now, brave cub. Toothopolis' fate is in your paws. Don't let us down. Uh, okay. All right then, Placulorg. Prepare to get genius <laughs> oh, please, Bucky! <gasps> Hurry up! Clack, <laughs> you lord! You call that a burp? That's the puniest thing I ever heard! That's better! Ha-ha! <laughs> Roll up your sleeves and save the world. In appreciation for your service to Toothopolis, I present you with our highest honor, Flex Caliber, the Wonder Brush. Gosh, thanks. I might even use a great brush like this one. Well, goodbye, Noble Bucky. Think of us when you see a shiny set of chompers. Um... Just a regular bathroom. Well, duh. Yeah, I knew it was just a dream. <gasps> Wait, Flick's Caliber. How'd you get here? If this is real, well then, there really is a Toothopolis. Bucky, are you brushing your teeth for real? <laughs> yep, now I'm all set for another year. <laughs> 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 Don't mess with Placulorg. <laughs> Let's play tomorrow. Gonna play play school. It's gonna be so cool. <laughs> Parry! Thrust! Run! Hey guys, good morning! <laughs> Let's play.
Play pretend school. Why? Don't do a lot of desks. Surrender, Musketeer. I don't wanna. Ah. Musketeers never give up. Owie. And thus begins my final nap. Oh. Oh. Now, Bucky, it's your turn to be the bad guy. Yuck. Being the bad guy isn't fun. And the bad guy never wins. Oh, Franny, do you want to play Three Musketeers with us? Yeah, sounds fun. Being the third musketeer sounds awesome. We already have a third musketeer. Seriously? But listen up. You'll be doing an important, amazing part. You're certain to really love it. Awesome. What part is it? Does the word pin cushion mean anything to you? Surrender, musketeers. Musketeers never quit. It's one for most and most for some. Or something like that. Musketeer chase, musketeer fight. All the musketeers are having fun, all right. Doing musketeer stuff the musketeer way. The musketeers will have a super awesome day. Hey, guys, can I take a turn being a musketeer now? <laughs> yeah, but it's getting late. We'll do it tomorrow. Later, Franny. Bye. Tomorrow, then. It's a date. I'm ready to be a musketeer now, guys. <laughs> Reach for the sky, bad-nosed Bjorn. Taint likely, Bronco Bucky. You <laughs> lily-livered cow bear. All for most or whatever. Wait, four for some? Franny, we're trying to play here. Come here and hand me one of those darts. Thank you there, partner. Now eat lead, bad-nosed Bjorn. You varmint. Franny, can you hand me that, please? Purdy, please? Can I join your cowboy game? You betcha. But later, it's doolin' time. Bronco Bucky. Bad nose Bjorn. Draw! Can I play? Uh, no. How, y'all? Yeehaw! Ammo! Another one! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> More ammo! <laughs> That's enough. I'm tired of playing cow bears. Gotcha! <laughs> Can I be a cow bear fox girl now, please? Of course you can. Ah, <sighs> but tomorrow, yeah? This cow bear is plum tuckered out. Tomorrow? I've heard that before. Happy trails, Franny! <laughs> Just call me Franny Oakley! Bull's ass! Hey there, Franny! Oh. You're just what we need! A great sharpshooter cow fox? All right! We don't need that. See, today we're playing Martian Expedition. We're both astronauts and you're the alien monster. Wait a minute. I don't want to play this alien stuff. What would you like to play? Well, actually, I've been wanting to play pretend school. I could teach you guys things and stuff. School is just boring. Right now, let's play Mars. And I promise tomorrow we'll play school. That's fair, right? Why does everything I want have to wait till tomorrow? It's getting really old. You can't eat us! We're astronauts! <laughs> Bjorn, close the hatch! <laughs> We're going to play by my rules for a little while. The alien seems to have vanished. Looks like it's safe for us to go back out. Hey, what's going on? Bjorn, the hatch is locked! Why do they always get to say what we play? Bucky, look! The alien's coming back! What on Mars is it doing? What's that board for? You're a very strange alien. You are my prisoners. And my evil alien plan is to teach you everything I know twice. No, that's torture. But you forgot one thing. Rockets can fly. Yeah, yeah. You were saying? Come on, Franny. It isn't funny anymore. Let us out. The alien won, all right? Well, then, I guess you have to do what I say. Fine, do your worst. Torture us with knowledge. Now pay attention. We begin with basic math. These weird symbols are called numbers. Numbers. Feel free to take notes, because there will be a lot of tests. And quizzes. Oh, so many quizzes. And essays and book reports. But you should be fine as long as you pay close attention the entire time. Ballad of the Two Knights. Sweet victory! You have survived the three challenges. The countless hours you wasted on this game have paid off. You are now a knight. The Golden Sword.
good. Dude, that's sweet. Cool stuff, cool stuff, cool stuff, cool stuff! I've got this new game for us to play. Assign me three challenges. Once I've done them, you two can dub me a real knight. Hey, I want to be a real knight. Franny, assign us knightly challenges. Golly, what should I choose? How about I say something like this? You must help me make a yummy apple pie. A pie? But... That's not a daring challenge. There's nothing knightly about pies. Guess I'll have to come up with my own challenges. Well, I haven't ever made a pie before. But, well, if that's what the challenge is, then that's what I will do. Now, a real knight needs a real suit of armor. Awesome time! If you want to be a knight, then you need a suit of armor. Apple pies are awesome! You can ask any farmer! Plan. And mix. And bang. If you put the work in, you can get your wish! What a glorious sight! I'm on my way to be a knight! Greetings, friends! Hey, Bucky! Awesome armor, Bucky! Bjorn just completed the pie challenge! A knight deals with enemies of the realm, not baked goods! But can I have a piece? Mmm! Mmm, good pie. All right, that does it for the first night challenge, Franny. Give me the second. And another piece of pie. The second challenge is going to be... I'm thinking the second challenge is to help me make yummy fruit punch. Make punch? Nah, the second challenge is going to be to find a horse. Every real knight needs a horse. Yummy fruit punch. Well, I suppose I could make it. Okay, let the second challenge begin! If you want to make punch, find some fruit and pick a bunch. To be a knight, of course, you've got to have a horse. Smush the fruit into a pot and heat the pot up really hot. To be a knight indeed, you will need a noble steed. If you do it all just right, you're on your way to being a knight. Oh, yeah. Our punch is totally delicious. And that means you've completed the second challenge. All right, then. What's going to be the final challenge? Well, you might have noticed my scooter's broken. Can you fix it? I'll fix it up, Franny. Good as new. Onward, trusty steed. Giddy up! Check it out, Bjorn. I built a horse. I'm ready for the final challenge. Yeah, pretty sure that my final challenge won't ever be finished. Are you fixing Franny's scooter? Let me help you. That would be great, Bucky. Before long, I'll be dubbed an actual real live knight. I don't think Franny will pick you to be a knight. I'm the one with the horse and armor. I don't really even need to complete another challenge. There, good as new. Hear ye, hear ye! Welcome to the court of Franelot! Valiant warrior, you have completed all my challenges chivalrously. And as such, I dub thee a proper knight. Henceforth, you shall be called Sir Bjorn the Helpful. Sir what the what now? What about me, Franny? I've got armor and a horse. Yeah, but Bucky, you didn't complete any of my challenges. But Bjorn helped me make a yummy apple pie and make fruit punch and he fixed <laughs> my scooter. Hmm. Step forward, Sir Bjorn, and receive your just reward. Franny, I don't deserve the knighthood either. It was Bucky who fixed your scooter. I couldn't have done it without him. Oh my, is that right? Yes, it's the truth. That's so perfect! Brave and noble Bucky! You shall be henceforth known as Sir Bucky the Helpful and Plucky because you took the time to help Bjorn out. And you are now Sir Bjorn the Truthful because you told me what Bucky did. Huzzah! Double huzzah! The golden sword. Look at me, guys. We're <laughs> knights. <laughs> so, what are we baking next? <laughs> Circus bears! Circus time! Oh yes, it's circus time! Oh yes, it's circus time! It's circus time! Timey time! In the center ring, the great trainer of the ferocious tiger chick, Madam Foxy Pants! Bravo! bravo. Madam Foxy Pants Madam is Foxy the best! Pants. Chicky, Allie! Chicky, come on! 
What's your problem? Jump through it, all right? Your tiger chick's not doing any tricks. Circus fail. Gosh, I'd love to see a real, live, genuine circus. Your wish is my command. Coming right up. Genuine circus, genuine circus, 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 circus. Bravo, Actual quality right. circus. Whoops. Real, live circus. You're welcome, Bjorn. Nice try, Bucky, but that was nothing like oh. the real circus. Franny, Chicky, I'm gonna need your help. Time to be awesome! The plan is to build a circus for Bjorn. We'll practice and put on a show that's crazy amazing. All right, circus time! Dips on being the tightrope walker. You got it. <laughs> Just be sure not to tell Bjorn. This is going to be a real live circus. Tightrope walking, perfecting and preparing magic tricks, ferocious chicks and feats of skill and daring. Working, learning, prestidigitation, jumping beans on trampolines, creating a sensation. Ups and downs and juggling clowns, a circus celebration. That's how we prepare the beautiful and rare Circus Fox and Bear. Excellent. Now we're like real circus performers. But there's still something missing. Flashy costumes, maybe? Well, we've got to have those. What we're missing is the circus itself. The big top. Oh, we'll work till we drop. Yes, we'll hammer, sew, and chop. Every flashy costume, every awesome prop. No, we'll never, ever, never, never stop, stop, stop till there's a real live circus in a real big top. Costumes, Bjorn will never recognize us. You're right. Now everything's done except the advertising. A real live, genuine circus performance. One day only. Don't miss it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get our tails to the big top. Ladies and gentle bears, cubs of all ages, welcome! Oh, adoring public, the circus is about to begin! <laughs> Please, welcome to the center ring, the super flying princess! Um, so Bjorn, I'm just gonna go look and see if Bucky's here. Ladies and gentle bears, the flying princess! This is so cool! Huh? Isn't she amazing? Whoa! Hey! Ale! Hoop! Hop! Hop! Send in the clowns! <laughs> and now, an acrobatic feat that's incredibly neat! to us. <laughs> wow, Chicky's really got that magic trick down, right? Where are we gonna put all the bunnies? My carrots are almost ready to harvest. I'm gonna make a fortune. 